Hi everyone, Callum here from the TrackX team. This is just a quick introduction video to show you how I created a video and photo mix of my recent holiday to America. This video will also highlight some of the new features we've added, such as automatic crossfading, segment snapping, text and credits, and the collaging functionality. To learn how to implement these features into your mix and learn more about them, please see their corresponding videos. So let's start by dragging and dropping some photos into the mixing screen from the media browser. In the media browser, I can quickly preview the photo by clicking on it once. The preview will then be shown in the video output screen. Once I drag the photo into the mixing screen, it will become a segment, which can be expanded and decreased, moved around, and painted into other areas of the track. I would quickly like to draw your attention to the target frame size. Ideally, you should firstly select your target frame size, as this will dictate where the borders and frame dimension will be set for your mix when in the video output screen and resulting exported file. Here I'll select YouTube High Quality. To learn more about target frame size, please see Mixing Screen Part 2 video. OK, so let's add a second photo into the mixing screen. If I want, I can place the second photo on top of the first photo, but I'm just going to place it beside it to draw your attention to a few things. If I select the second segment and move it directly beside the first segment, you'll notice a blue arrow. This indicates it will be snapped directly beside it. This is a really nice feature as you're now confident the two segments are directly aligned beside each other with no gaps in between. If I continue moving the second segment on top of the first segment, the automatic crossfading will take effect. If I grab and scroll the play bar, you'll see the fade take effect. I can also right click on the crossfade box and select a new fade type. You can also increase and decrease the length of this crossfade box by adjusting the length of either segment. Another really cool feature is that you can add a transition onto a crossfade box. Again, right click on the box and select insert transition and choose run from the drop down menu. The transition will then be indicated by an orange grid with its name in it. You can access the properties of the transition by right clicking on it and selecting transition properties. I'll continue to build up my mix by adding some more photos. Now that I've added some photos to my mix, I'm going to quickly add an effect to one of my photos. Simply right click on the photo and select Video Effects and choose one from the drop down menu. Here I'll select Zoom. Again, I can expand or decrease the effects grid, snap the effects grid to the beginning and end of the segments, I can change the properties of the effect by clicking on the effect properties icon in the effects grid and changing the parameters. I can also move and add nodes to the effects envelope to alter how the effect will be displayed. Okay. I'll now add a piece of video to my mix. Again, I can preview it in the media browser, and when happy with the one I want, I can drag and drop it into the mixing screen. Another nice feature we've added is the ability to move audio or video segments and snap it to the segments above or below it, which is indicated by the blue arrow. Again, showing me that all segments are aligned and contain no gaps. We've also introduced the ability to create fades at the beginning and end of any segments. Simply move your cursor to the top position at the start or end of a segment until the fade graphic appears and simply click and hold with the left mouse button and drag. Again, right click on the fade area to change the fade type. I'll now select a second piece of video. However, I don't want to use the whole video only a part of it. To do this, I double click on it in the media browser and the video will open up in the track cutter. To copy the area I want to use, 
hold the shift key on your keyboard while holding down the left mouse button and drag. A selection box will appear. This selection can be adjusted in size and previewed by pressing play. If the video has audio, you can select either audio or video individually or together. Once you are happy with your selection, right click on the box and select copy. Then in the mixing screen, right click in the area you wish to paste and select paste. I'll move the second piece of video onto the first piece to create a crossfade. If I click on the segment properties of a video clip, I can control the play rate to slow it down or speed it up. I can also increase and decrease the video brightness. Or play the video in reverse. And I'll click close. I'll continue building up my mix. So now that I've just about created my mix, I want to finish by showing you some of the extra features we've added. Firstly, I'm going to show you the new collaging functionality. Simply put, this means you can have multiple photos and videos in the same output screen. Here I'll drag a video and place it underneath the video already in the mixing screen. If I press play, you'll notice the new video will play on top. However, if I click on the segment properties icon on the new video segment, I can adjust the size and position of the video within the frame using the zoom features, the vertical and horizontal offset sliders, and the grab feature. I can also use the play bar to view my image in the video output screen. You can also add multiple photos or videos, giving a cool collage effect. Let's move on and add some text and credits to my mix. First off, I'd like to create a title for my mix, however currently I have no room at the start for it. To create space, click on the auto selection tool in the main toolbar and select all the segments. Once selected, I can move all the segments as one unit, without affecting any of my edits. Now that I've created space, I can right click in the blank area and select video credits, or right click in the free area and select insert video credits. The video credits dialog box will appear. As I'm uploading to YouTube, I'll select YouTube high quality from the target frame size menu. Here I can also enter my text and change the font, size, color, location on the screen, etc. When happy, I can click close and a text segment is now inserted. I can also grab the channel and move it up to the top. Once the text channel is created, I can paint the text anywhere and edit the text by clicking on the text properties icon on the text segment. I've also introduced some end credits. With text, you're able to insert vertical and horizontal scrolling to give your mix that professional touch. To learn more about text, please see the text credit video. Finally, I'll add a soundtrack to my mix. Simply find the song you want to use and drag it into the mixing screen. You may notice it may not be playing at its normal tempo. That's because it's locked to the global tempo which is defaulted to 120 BPM. Click the Unlock Beat Syncing icon in the track name toolbar. You may also wish to add fades and effects to your audio. To save your mix as a TMX file, click on the save icon in the toolbar. To export your mix to popular file types such as MPEG and WMV, click on the export button. Or click on the YouTube button to directly upload it to YouTube. 